this is, I think, my second actual set review. And it is the Jurassic World Dilophosaurus Ambush Set. I got it for $30. By the way, happy Labor Day. At the time of recording, it is Labor Day. Um, $30, for a $30 set, this is packed with fun and action features. First, the Dilophosaurus. The tail surprisingly doesn't move, although it really looks like it should. Head moves, and the mouth does, but only to two joints, open and close. Arms do, and legs do, so. Dinosaur. Feet are a little hard to work with. Then we have the generic ACU tree trooper. The little trainer stick electrifying thing. Here's a generic one. They include one in every Jurassic World, almost, I think, set. Almost every Jurassic World set. But um, this one doesn't have the outside padding so you can really appreciate the printing. Also, here we have Gray. His name, he doesn't have a name tag, but um, it's on the box, it says Gray. I wish he had a little name tag, like, hi, my name is Gray. I don't know why, that's just something I wish. Um. It's actually the first time I think that this smiley generic face has gotten a tan variant. Um, but to me, and to quote Jane Bricks, he, ex he has this excessive hobbit design. Just reminds me of the hobbit. And um, alternate face is a screaming face or ah face. Um, yeah. Also, here is the bubble car, which is really cool because in its feature is what mainly makes it so cool. So first, in order to get in, you need to take off both sides. And then slowly separate it like so. And then I'm going to put gray. Notice one thing that he, no matter how much he reaches, he will never be able to reach the controls. No matter how many times he reaches. And then gets loose fairly easily. Now, here, it's inside. And the cool thing is, as you saw in the video, because that was actually live action when the bubble car was rolling, that I composited in. This, notice how he stays literally still sitting up. Unless you roll him badly, in that case he ends up like this. But if you roll him just forward, he stands straight up, so that's pretty cool. Um, everything back in place. So the bubble car is it's really a cool build. Although, I would not recommend if you have, like, this messy Lego room to put it on the floor. Because then, one day, you're just going to step on it. And let me tell you, from an experience at my friend's house, it hurts. So, don't put the bubble car on the floor. Um, 
And then here are two crates that actually go into the truck, which is the main build, which I will get to. Right now. In the animation, the wheels were a bit facing out, and literally right after I finished it, they popped back in. I don't know. But, um... It's a good build. This set is good, by the way, for even for people who don't don't like Jurassic Park. So I just got it because I like I I like the bubble car, to be honest. Um, it's a really good build. They have a nice thing that was the hook thing that was presented in the stop motion that I'm gonna edit to play before. They now have these crowbar pieces in blue to add a, to the roll cage element. And then, speaking of roll cage, there it is. It can actually come off and flick missiles that never really work, but flick missiles. Oh, and fun feature, if you put the little chicken leg right there then what you can do is you can and it's supposed to flick it far away but never works does it just like flick missiles so that's just one where place to put them you can also put the barrels here and um you see you trooper you can pop in here oh Oops. There. Tight fit, but it works. And the bubble car will roll. I will tell you that. So, there is the entire set as a whole again. Thank you for watching this review. And before I go, I'd just like to showcase this mock I made to go with this set just a little ATV like thing so yeah I hope you enjoyed watching thank you for watching have a wonderful Labor Day I might not even upload this on Labor Day so in that case have a wonderful belated Labor Day and I will see you guys next time